For all of you SFF builders that want to have a nice visual build but uh, still want to have a small footprint when we're talking about the whole chassis and everything all together, I mean after all it is all about the SFF and a smaller volume of the chassis and everything and then we go to the part where you need a smaller cooler, right? Unless you go with some custom water cooling or AIO that actually fits inside those cases, there's always a solution that can go with air. So in those terms we have right here Noctua's NHL965 Chromax Black and when I say Chromax Black it's completely black. So when we go into that segment, black heat sink, black heat pipes, black fan, black anti-vibration pads, black hinges that hold the fan to the passive heat sink, black cable, black connection, everything. So it's literally black, Chromax black, right? And that's really cool because uh, I know some of you guys really love Noctua's colors, uh, in general the original ones, and I personally do. But then for everybody else, there is a solution with Chromax Black uh, coolers and fans, which is really cool. So inside the box we get, of course, the NHL965 Chromax Black, and as per usual, the accessory box which comes with loads of stuff. So what we got here, we have the NARC7, which is a low noise adapter. Then we have the NTH1 high grade thermal compound, a screwdriver, and we have also the complete Intel set and AMD set with uh, CQ Firm 2 mounting system. But what is so interesting with AMD mounting system? So, this is what they showed me at Computex 2023, and I'm quite fascinated that they actually managed to place this inside the cooler immediately with, without you needing to acquire it additionally. So, the thing that you get inside the accessory box is the new offset mounting bars for better performance on AM5 sockets. And what does this uh, do? It lowers down the cooler by 7 millimeters, lowering down the cold plate from the NHL965 directly on the cores of your AM5 processor which is really cool and uh, it uh, actually does make sense because it's not in the middle of the CPU as it is on Intel but you already saw that a million times but I do have to mention that so you know what you get inside the box. Now the dimensions are standard 95 times 95 times 51, the weight is 340, for the heatsink with the fan is 413 grams. We have the NF-A914HS PWM Chromax Black Fan and the socket compatibility is basically everything, AM5, AM4, all Intel sockets and uh, of course I'm not counting here Threadripper and all the other stuff. I think you might presume that already, but I just have to state that just in case. So the maximum rotational speed of the A914 is 2500 RPMs. The maximum rotational speed with the LNA is 1800 RPMs. Maximum airflow is 57.5 cubic meter per hour, while the maximum airflow with the LNA is 40.8 cubic meter per hour. And then we have the maximum acoustical noise is 23.6 decibels, while the maximum acoustic noise with the LNA is 14.8. And mean time before failure for the fan is going above 150,000 hours. It's interesting that this fan is almost inaudible in the high speed. I mean, 2500 RPMs for this fan, as you can see, it's quite slim and it does the job quite nicely, I do have to say. Now, I do have to mention the coating of the heatsink. It's optimized in that way so that the Chromax Black models provide the same renowned, quite uh, cooling performance as the regular non coated uh, counterparts. So, for instance, you have the standard NHL 965, which doesn't have the coated black, and this one has. So there is no difference in performance because it's coated. So yeah, you do need to uh, take that also into consideration. You don't have to worry about that. Now, when we're talking about the heat pipes, so we have four heat pipes instead of two heat pipes. It's more powerful than the NHL 9i, and uh, it's the same footprint, so 95 times 95, and that's uh, really cool. And the interesting part, it does guarantee 100% RAM and PCIe compatibility on the current motherboards that you have the possibility to use them on. The new thing that I do have to mention is this Secure Firm 2 multi-socket uh, 
mounting system for Intel and AMD. And finally, you get six years warranty. Honestly, I don't know why, but regardless of that, this stuff really does work. Now let's check out the thermal. So what I did is I used it in some sort of an open bench. Let's put it that way, almost open bench. And I used it first with uh, offset. So minus seven millimeters. The thermals in AIDA 64 Extreme Edition system stability tests, 89 on the CPU, uh, 4950 megahertz and 62 on the GPU. It doesn't matter. I just want to mention that. Now in Cinebench, 86 and it goes to 87 and it basically ends up at 88 degrees celsius oh, i totally forgot uh, to mention the cpu md ryzen 7 pro 7745 why i use that cpu and not any other because it has lower tdp so this is quite interesting because that cpu kind of can be related to this CPU cooler. Now the clock speed, 4750, it started at that, and then we go down a bit with 4725, which is still all right. And uh, scores, uh, 17,254, and it eventually circles around 17,200. Now, if you remember my benchmark with um, 360 AAO and that CPU, the Cinebench score went up to 18,000. And let's be honest, this small, I do have to say, it's a small cooler. Compared to a 360, we can't compare that, right? But the scores are quite, quite interesting to see. And then we go with the minus 7 millimeter offset plus 120 millimeter additional, let's say, exhaust. I had the 64 Extreme Edition, 86 degrees. Uh, clock speed 5025 megahertz the gpu is the same and then we have much much lower thermals uh, 83 started at 83 then we go 84 two three times and 85 finishing at 86 degrees it kind of goes higher with thermals as further i go but it's quite all right it ends up where the minus seven millimeter offset without the exhaust uh, starts 4900 megahertz, 4800, 48, and then it lowers down to 4750, but you can see the exact uh, results. And the scores are quite interesting, 17,429, and then it lowers down to going somewhere above 17,300. I would say some sort of an average is 17,350. Yeah, that's quite all right. So that's uh, 650 Cinebench points less than a 360 radiator. Interesting. And then we go with uh, zero millimeters. So the regular position of the mounting system uh, with uh, the 120 millimeter fan exhaust uh, at the top, we have AIDA going at 90 degrees Celsius, uh, clock speed 4925 megahertz, GPU again the same. And it starts at 85, it finishes at 88 degrees celsius but it's uh, going mostly at 85 86 and circulates somewhere around 85.5 degrees celsius clock speed started 4775 and it's and it goes to 4750 and it adds at 4725 talking about uh, the cinnabon scores uh, 17262 and it kind of goes a bit higher than the offset one but without the additional fan as an exhaust. So what you get is if you use the offset, you get better thermals. But if you add an exhaust fan in some sort of a case, of course, it will be much better because this fan blows directly to the cooler. And then you need something when the air spreads, you need something to push it out, to pull it out. Let's put it that way. Regardless of that, I'm quite fascinated that with the additional exhaust fan, don't get me wrong, with the additional exhaust fan and the minus seven millimeter offset, you get 600, I think I was 650, 700 to 600 Cinebench points less than a 360 on that CPU. Of course, we do have to mention that its TDP is from 95 to 105. I think I'm not mistaking too much, but let's say 100 watts TDP on that CPU. This does quite a nice job and it's quite stable as you can see there aren't too too much varieties with thermals with the clock speed and with the benchmarks 
it goes somewhere very close to each other and it doesn't vary that much which is quite nice i think this is well crafted cpu cooler for a smaller build it's quite nice design really love the chromax black finish and what they stated about the coating you can actually feel the difference because usually when you check out other coolers that have uh, black coated uh, passive heat sink it's not done precisely as this one and this is why i love noctuous products and how they perform not how they perform how they produce their products and the whole procedure from start to the end it's remarkable and i'm really fascinated uh, the only thing that i could do right here is i can't give it a performance badge because other coolers that are bigger will definitely outperform it if we go into the segment that this is only for the sff builds then okay yeah it deserves it but let's put it this way pc crazy approved badge without a doubt for the noctuas nhl965 chromax black for amd and intel and amd has the minus seven millimeter offset mounting system with CQ firm 2 that's outstanding and i do have to say some of you guys won't find it interesting and i won't lie it's quite obvious you're not into sff builds you're doing something else and i can't argue with that right but for you guys that really want a small footprint you want a small build you still want to have it air cooled instead of water cooled 25 decibels at 2500 rpms that's insane guys i i don't have anything else to say the link is in the description for the noctua nhl965 chromax black and uh, that'll be all for today if you like the video and if you like this uh, it's not a bit of an extensive testing but i gave you loads of options where you could check out how this one works with a uh, lower tdp processors and uh, hopefully this helps you guys to choose of course so the link is in the description and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and click the notification bell. Thanks for watching. See you very soon, guys. Bye-bye.